Yeah, exciting and stuff. She's a first she's year. Gonna party it up. Dude. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Oh, so oh first year he did. Oh yeah. She's partying. <laughs> Also, been a terrible, selfish person. Which of us has not threatened murder when hungry? Still, seems excessive. Is there a lot of dialogue in your game? Um, not really. It's pretty quick. I want to say there's like it's a decent amount of dialogue, but not a whole lot. I feel like my two characters they just keep talking to one another every so often. Yeah, no, not mine. It's like in certain sequences it will, but not all the time. Am I... Is it quicker to fast travel? It is, in fact, quicker to fast travel. Well, where's the pet? So I'm out of here. Put this shit on out. Um, yeah, right here. I remember where we're at. It's not like I got lost here or anything. Okay, that was weird. Do you ever walk into a mine, like a mine shaft in that game? Um, not that I've seen. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep doing swimming ones, right? Just, just keep doing what? Swimming. Yeah, swimming. They just keep having you do swimming and everything. Fuck swimming. <laughs> Why did I pick the one that's in the cave? Why would I do this to myself? Um... Yeah, the traversing in that game looks pretty fun, though. Mm -hmm. Mine isn't... It's pretty lame. It's like all the same shit. Like, uh, Assassin's Creed. But I can't climb everything. Mm -hmm. so, so it really gets, like, some lame aspect to it. I should have chose the other camp, but it's too late. We're already basically here. I'm looking for another thing to shoot at. I haven't seen a soul shard lately. There's gotta be some around here. be a perfect location for them too. Can I shoot through this? No. Oh, it's alright. I don't want to shoot That's through it anyways. Good. Chest. Chest you say. Oh god. Like this. Are oh. there ever mimics in your treasure chest? There ever what? Mimics. You know, like a, a fake treasure chest. Not that I've seen. Okay. I haven't seen one yet either. Why is the alewife here? Mistress Baru. Can I help you? Mr. McRace. Did you take care of the demons? I did. Then you've helped plenty. Thank you now. Goodbye. No, that's not how this is. Mr. Sparrow, I'm looking into the death of the baker. I'll need to search the bakery. The bakery is mine, and I have not granted you permission. After Cottle died, the governor made me the baker. I would already be at work. Had I not misplaced the key? The key that I found. 
Perry Cotto tells me you poisoned them. You Plus, Governor him. says he's no longer governor. He's dead, but you talked to him. Such no talent. Did your talent tell you he was talking nonsense? Why would I poison Perry Cottle? Oh, God. he thinks you were going into the bakery business and wanted to eliminate the competition. By the looks of it, that seems to hold some truth. I am confident enough in my skills to not kill the competition. That would be against my principle. Worth what type of principle? It would be stupid. And if his ghost can't see it, he's what? as stupid dead as he was living. I found your key in the alehouse, hidden away by a spectral web. The work of Perry's ghost. He was obviously trying to make sure you wouldn't get to his bakery. Spectral what? Spectral web. Look, the bakery lies empty. Folk need bread. I intend to meet their need. With or without Cotter's bloody ghost's <laughs> approval. Oh, good one. Good one. <laughs> Only in the sun. You would never do this in real life. Bread is oh, hell no. <laughs> All you need is a little patience, a lot of work, and flour. Fun fact about Zero Team, uh, he is afraid of heights. Did not. And he is very much good. like me. Yeah. Share it. Or like fuck that shit, I'm out. Paid for it, I would have shared it. And like I'd rather run into the beast. <laughs> I knew he was spying on me. You nailed it, bro. Oh god, that got me, bro. I'm starting to like her. I think actually this is where I'm probably gonna end it. So you stood up for yourself. Uh, you're gonna hop off, huh? Yeah, we're gonna hop off. Should. Nevertheless, I'm but thank you everybody for tuning in with your for another exciting episode of Celebrate. You have the key. Thanks for I might possibly, you yeah, thank you for hanging out with me, Graham. I might possibly be back on tomorrow. I might possibly not. You know, I'm so I'll take my leave about it. So, you know, be just be a uh, going to be live or not. So, but um, everybody, have a good night. Enjoy yourselves. If you don't do anything, I wouldn't do. Okay. He's done a lot of crazy things too. Yeah. But um uh, but alright. Yeah. Good night everybody. Bye. Goodbye, Zero Team. And that just leaves me. Yep. Yeah. See ya So you're going to bed? Uh yeah. Sure. Getting tired. You sound like it. Not that I'm tired. It's like I know I should go to sleep. Is that what you did yesterday? Yeah. Or on your like, phone? Yeah, I was playing Bakugan on my emulator. <laughs> of course. Dude, that's a good game too. I have it. I I got the game. Dude, this, that shit is hard. They did it. They. Dude, Bakugan. Brawl. Bakugan. Brawl. That's what I'm saying, dude. The game's actually pretty fun. What's his name? Drago? He really Who? had no idea. Drago, the main character? His name is Dan. Well, the... The Bakugan that he has. Oh. This plant. Drago, so, Drago. So, something like, I forgot. A ghost left a blood fragment. Because I have a red dragon, too. It's probably it. it. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh... But my, mine's, like, li li Legionist or something like that. Uh, my dragon's name is, but it's not the same dragon. It's a different fire dragon. Does he have a horn? Yeah, but his wings are different than the other one. It's not, it doesn't say, it's not the main character. It's a different So, uh, throughout the series of the main character, he has, like, that Bakugan, like, evolves, like, three different times. Mm -hmm. And his final form, he becomes pure white. Like, Stardust, Stardust Dragon. You're gonna make me want to play Bakugan now. Should I take it into work? Fuck. Dude, did you set up the emulator? Dude, Dude, I could just bring in my DS. Oh, you could. I could just straight up bring in my normal DS. Do it, dude. It's a charge. That's so funny. Keep the bake curve from making his bread. All right, well, I'll let you do your thing. Right, Have a good night.
There we are, chat. Just you and I. We're gonna turn this down a bit. I'll play for a little bit longer. The poison. Again, I just want to clear up more of these side quests. Hunger drives folk to acts of desperation. And this has heavy in the dialogue. Luckily, they read it to me, so I'm not too upset. But you gotta double check everything. Are you done, Mr. McGrath? I wish to fire up the oven so we that we may going have going back and forth between locations. Touch so it's hard my oven and to I'll say otherwise. Push you into it. Perry Cottle? You'll not get away with it. Alewife, poison. Which? What the hell is he talking about? What is going on here? Well, you should tell me. Mr. Cotto, while trying to guess at Lucy's secret ingredient, you poisoned yourself. Phytolaca. Highly toxic. That was the truth. What? No! That, that is not possible! Not just possible. Not even just likely. I'd say it was inevitable. I... Well, I thought... Well, well, that proves it. She did it on purpose. She picked pokeweed on purpose. What do you say to that, Mistress Barrow? I'm a woman. No husband. A business of my own. Means. Brains. What the fuck? And I dared to say no to a man. This man. I have all sorts of poisonous plants. I'm a herbalist and an alewife. I make things. If Perry Cottle, in his ignorance, tried to do the same, then that is on him. Perry Cottle, in your harassment of the alewife, you were relentless. I don't believe a word she says, and neither should you. Come on, dude. She knew I'd uncover her secret, so she killed me with magic. Magic? Are you really going to let me stand here, suffering this idiot's harassment from beyond the grave? For the last time, I am the bloody alewife. You heard her. She admits it. She dares to say it out loud. She is the bloody alewife. She's a witch. She's a witch, and she must be stopped. Lucy Barrow, under the pretext of a demand for fair payment, you hoarded a valuable recipe. That's right. You'd have starved us for the sake of your business. You denied the children of God their daily bread. For business, Lucy. For business. He's just making Our up excuses. Lord called you to give service to his flock. And you demanded payment. Let the alewife speak. Mr. Cotto. I almost want to just banish him. If the Lord him. wished the fruits of my labor, then he should have paid me like anyone else. He could have been I ascended, but his harassment today. is really tough. I deserve to succeed. I worked my ass off for it, and you would have me give it away. Not a chance. Let's put an end to this, shall we? So if we look at this, Perry... He harassed and stole what he thought it was a secret. He was poisoned and blamed for calling her a witch. And then he was just super desperate. He accidentally killed himself with poison, like... And he's still sitting here saying she's still a witch and still calling her out. Like, he just won't let bygones be bygones, dude. I really didn't want to do this. Perry Cottle, the alewife Lucy Barrow is not responsible for your death. You are wrong to haunt her. The witch poisoned me! She called you a dolt. I'm inclined to agree. Just won't learn, Cottle, will you? I banish you! I'm sorry, man. That's done then. 
I suppose I'll muddle through. Just baking. How hard could it be? How hard could it be, right? How do I get out of here? Okay. I suspect Mistress Barrow may change her ways. Learning can be a painful business. Let's see what this is. The new one just started. I believe this is going to be uh, the sun. Lammy, if I had to guess. I don't think it's going to be the old lady. Goody. I may be inclined to say otherwise, though. I am wrong. Goody Perkins. Mr. McRae. You got your memory back. How did that happen? It was as though a wave washed through me. The memories were carried in the foam, then left behind like flotsam. I'm better. I don't know what any of that meant. Yet, far from whole, there is a, a terrible sadness in me. A tide of melancholy. I fear, I fear that it shall rise, and I shall not know what to do, but drown. I don't think it matters because I'm going to have to click both of them, but... Oh, I do. I remember his pride when he bought the Kronos. It took all we had, but it was worth it to see his eyes shine so... Richard was a simple man. <laughs> Better with fish than people. <laughs> but he worked hard. He earned that boat, and he was its captain. But a sailor's wife does not live easy. I remember the fear when he went to sea. I remember the dread. I'd till our plot by day, and of an evening, Stand at the cliff, watching for his return. What does that even mean? I, I guess... Beautiful memories. I hope they're of some comfort. Seeing the waves flat go by, I guess. How are we feeling, Goody Perkins? I'm feeling guilty. As what about you? Brushes against your I hair. hope you're sleeping, for I am not. Worry for the future, worry for the past. But I take solace in my memories of Richard. Good. Hold to them. I so miss the time when Richard and I used to walk along the beach. There was a cave. I have never ventured into it. I guess soon that's Richard. where I'm going used to spin me yarns about this mysterious place. Tall tales from the sea. I did love them so. And I'm sure at least some were true. In one tale, the captain hid his treasure in a hiding place, so that on the day he stepped ashore for good, he would make his wife the finest gift. I could hear it in his voice. This tale was true. What treasure would a fisherman hide upon the beach? A promise. A wish. In the form of a rosary of pearl. Of pearl, huh? I'll bid you good day, Goody Perkins. Is there a lot of clams and May oysters God down there? May God guide you, Mr. McRaith. Clams give you pearls. Bye, Lammy. Don't fucking stare at me. Let's see. And uh, no fast travel availability, huh? Thirty-one percent, dude. I feel there's still so much to this game. Okay. Like I'm somewhat close to returning to the nightmare. But I guess the more people I meet, the more psych cases are going to show up. And the more people I save, the more their cases are going to show up. I guess it's fair. 
very similar to Yakuza then. Because if you just became friends with everybody in Yakuza, their sad cases showed up. Hmm. I guess I can't be too upset. <laughs> There's just not many places to go where I'm not where I haven't been to. Is all I'm saying. Which is completely fine now, since I have all the abilities, I can go and open up anything. These puzzles, fuck these puzzles. They think they're so fucking smart, don't they? Some of them are clever though. I'll give him a hand. Oh. I wish some of them were fucking funnier though. This game is so depressing. So sad. When whenever you think there's a good ending, it's just <laughs> no. We're almost there. See what's in this cave. I think it's over there. Oh, I thought it was this thing. I'm picking up something spectral nearby. It's behind me, really. I mean, it's on that side? No, no, look at this. He is. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, you just sit there and guard. I like that idea. in here empty candles you need to see this what did you find oh look at that something no hiding rosary no rosary oh, that's frustrating she'll be disappointed it might have to here I found something I don't know what she found just now, but it doesn't matter. We got a leg all the way back to the old lady. Tell her we found nothing. It's just some random bullshit, he used to say. Unless. I mean, why was it haunted? Whose treasure did I just loot? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's actually a really good argument. Alright. Head up here. Because apparently she, she changes her location. I don't see her essence. She's not home. I don't know where she could be. Her husband's grave, perhaps. Where is that at? If I guess it'd be back here. Oh, I do remember it being back here. Waxy cat. The rosary. She had it all along. Why did she lie about it? I have a bad feeling about this. Like, very bad. Awful, in fact. To the ship. And hurry. Oh, no. She got me away from here. So she could go ahead of us. This motherfucker. Destroy mom. those ghost wards if you want me back. Okay, I know it's up here now. 
Now the question is where the Aren't you fucking funnier? I can manifest now. Alright, I saw one here. And the other one. Where's the other one? At? More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Is it behind me? It might be up here. How short? I can't reach. This bush is so dumb. Fucking bush. Oh no. I got it. I was even reloaded. Alright, calm down. Did I ever mention how good we are together? Stupid bush. Yeah. It's always good to hear. Oh, I see the idol over there. How have I never picked that up? Am I headed over there too? I guess I am. <laughs> Literally just never saw it, huh? Is that two? That's all three. Now I gotta find the chest. Beat that! I just wanted to make sure it was reloaded. We're heading up to our favorite rocket ship. Going through the sky. Little line stops. That sounds like a good song, right? Perfect song for this situation, right? Here's the shit. Or I guess we're not quite there yet. But I mean, we're here, technically. <laughs> you see it. More? Okay. What is this? I didn't realize we were having a party here, guys. with us. Standing by. There's so many different techniques now to have them both attack. It's crazy. The synergy. The synergy. Is that always up there? I've only been here once prior, I think. All right, we're here. We're too late. Damn it. Maybe we were always too late. Maybe her destiny was already written. Fuck. Maybe it can't be changed. Fuck, dude. God damn it. That shit weighs heavy. God damn it. Talk about sadness. Alright, we gotta get to a campfire. Yeah, let's get to a campfire. Change sceneries real quick. 
God damn it, bro. That's not what I wanted to see. Oh, man. What? Think you can fend for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I guess I can. Let me try to find it. Come on, it looks like it could hit. Alright, I tried. Tried cheesing it. Let me do this naturally. This is too far. Is it in a tree? Doesn't look to be in a tree. These fucking wards. This is too far, I know. But I think I can head up here. No, not quite. No. It's not good enough. So it's gotta be something visible from here. Two different point of views. Many different locations could be on the cliff or it could be in a tree or the two parts I don't see it in this tree nothing on this cliff side Huh. Huh. About fed up. About, I said. Quick gander. I think it's on this rock. Like, I hear it. But that could just be the ward itself making the sound. I don't know. Fuck okay, it, we're out. We're out. I'm not gonna look around forever. This is as high up as it got me before. I still don't see it. Alright, find the campfire time. It's time to teleport. Was it at the town? It's not quite the town, right? Really? Move it. Uh, hurry up and do it. You're done. Why did those guys attack me though? Did they have some reason to attack me? I don't think so. Alright. Let's head up here. Haunting case. Never mind. We're heading over here. Starting with this one. The iron shortage. Did I do I need to unhighlight this? Oh, we're good. This should give me another town in between New Eden. I would assume there's another town, because I have to look for Seekers somehow. I gotta find
find Seeker. She's the only one that knows how to reopen the portal. <laughs> you can do snare too, fuck that. Do you need iron or something? Camp is a camp no longer. It's a village. Oh yeah, because Kate took over. Right. Thick skin's on the run. Mr. McCray, how good to see you. Just so happens I have something for you. It's not much, but oh, she... I hope it serves you. You made me you have my thanks, stuff, Mrs. Eaton. No, my friend. You have mine. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. Ivory Rispo. Why is it blocking more damage already? Okay. What do I need to upgrade this? Elite Gems. Okay, I'll take it. What's the other quest? Oh, is this Jacob? This is fucking Jacob, isn't it? Oh, and it's young Shutter Boy. I believe Edith Keen. Oh, Where's no. that apple pated hick when I need him? Not you, sir. Talking about good day, madam. Good day to you, Banisher. What can I do for you? Is all well, Miss Keen? All is well indeed, sir. In fact, a miracle has happened. With the beast dead, my garden has at last begun to grow. Oh, nice. With work and luck and God's good grace. We'll end up with a harvest. Though I confess, I find the work more tiring than usual. That's because she's haunted. Thank you for sharing so frankly, Miss Keene. But the reason I ask is... It's delicate. I think you're likely haunted. <laughs> no, that's just my twin brother. I can't get rid of him because we're family. What do you mean? Oh, wait, you're serious? Haunted? Who'd haunt the likes of me? You have to tell Where me Where is that. your brother? He... went for a walk in the woods. Oh no. My brother, Daniel... My brother Daniel went for a walk in the woods. How long ago? So Daniel Keane went missing in the woods, and Edith here is only getting worried now. What's new? What do you have in mind? Tell me more about thick skin, you smith. For the lore. What for? She's gone, and that's that. What can you tell me about Kate Newsmith? She's done a fair job so far. Things can only get better, eh? Perhaps I shouldn't say this, but I'm glad thick skin is gone. Ooh. If I'd had the first inkling of what that woman was capable of, why, I'd never have followed her. Things have changed. How's the camp doing these days? The camp does better, thanks to you. I mean, the Lord only knows what the future holds. But with one terrible monster, the fewer in it, it surely looks much brighter. Okay. Back to the story. How long has your brother been missing? And where might he be? You worry me, sir. With the beast gone, Daniel dared to walk the woods. I did not. Who knows what still lurks out there? I swear at times I hear voices rippling in the trees. Please, would you find him? Better late than never, I guess. I'll look into it. 
first I'll need to have a look around here. Please do. Alright, goodbye. I must go. Find my brother. Please. I'll try to find him. It's rotten. Can't be saved. And without food, nor can we. A meagre crop. But at least it's growing. Aye. It'll grow until it rots. What else? Voices from the dead. These tools have seen some service. The Keens aren't lazy. No, they're it's fucking crazy. They're like more broken. Oh, look! A chest. Well, open it, job and all. Is it a map? Could it be a treasure map? Let me see. He went Give it on here. a treasure hunt. So, a treasure map. Did Daniel go treasure hunting alone? Well, what have you heard? You've literally seen me snooping around here. So, you found a map. A map, sir? Yes. In the chest you dug up with your brother. That map. How... How do you know that? I speak to the dead. Banisher. Knowing things is part of the job. This is... improper. Even indecent. It was just a stupid old map. I told Daniel to leave it be. Did Where did you? it lead? I don't remember. There was something about the bridge on the Boston Road. I paid it no mind. The bridge is down. How did he cross it? I must go. I will wait for you here. He probably didn't. Probably didn't cross it. Where does that end up taking me? Go to the beach. Find the treasure. This is him? Oh my god, he's up here. Alright. The bridge on the Boston Road. There'll be a waterfall somewhere not far away. We're just gonna talk to Kate. It'll be simple, because we'll probably also have to fast travel out of here rather than fight out of here. It's not like a Won't Yakuza you leave thing. Me alone. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. You're actually the closest so, person. I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. Pennington? No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? Pennington had a daughter, and you knew her. I knew her, but not well. Deborah had her in the school and spoke of her from time to time. Shy as a porcupine and twice as prickly, as I recall. Deborah wrote That's the good letter memory. in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Oh, I guess it's fair. What did Grace look like? I remember her thin and boyish, encumbered by dresses she hated to wear. That sounds like Seeker. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. Oh. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? 
Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. She ever now that you mention them? it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Southeast, you say? Goodbye, tea huntress. I'll look forward to seeing things improve now that you're in charge. Thank you, Red. Travel safe. Yeah, in fact, looks like things are improving here. Ask Pennington about his daughter. I can do that. Dude, let's fucking do that. Let's teleport. Uh, where's the campfire? This wrong way. This way. Because that also puts me closer to other side quests. Fast travel. Fort Jericho. I have to leave any minute now, so... I'll do mainly just dialogue here. And I'll feel happy about myself with that. The mood is heavy. Just him. What here. happened? Report. Where's Priest? Yeah, I'm working on it. You'll know when I do. The longer you dally, the more time she has to prepare a revolt. Don't worry about it. What do you know of a young woman named Grace? I don't know where you heard that name, Banisher. But you should not say it again. It's important. Else I wouldn't ask. I came all the way here important to bore you. You'll have no answer. After all I've done, I rather think you owe me it. The fall told you. That much is true. But the debt will be settled some other way. I read the name on a letter. It was a very interesting missive. I don't know what went on between you two, but she really hates you. And what would you have had me do? Abandon my duty as a father? Allow her to stray from the safety of her people? Got away from God? Away from me? She wished me to bend. But in this world, those who bend must inevitably break. I stood. Stout and firm. The letter told quite the tale. I'd like to hear your side of it. I have heard tell, sir, of the contumacious Scots, and I did not hear wrong. For you are indeed relentlessly, perversely, bloody-mindedly obstinate. <laughs> Get quite the vocab. The letter was clear. You're to blame for what happened to her. She has no one to blame but herself. I tried to prevent it. She would not listen. I hurt her. That, sir, is laughable. I worked hard to make up for her mistakes. So she would not pay the price for them. Whatever you did seems to have made things worse. I stood firm. That, sir, is what must be done. And that, sir, is what I do. I stand firm. Why the mystery? A stubborn and difficult child. Always quick to disobey. Especially when the orders were mine. Never understood her antagonism or hostility. A sheer bloody-minded antipathy. She didn't get it from her mother. Now I have no daughter and it is all the better for all concerned. What happened? Want to tell me what happened? If you must know it, I, I sent her away. I exiled her. Well, you told me. Why? Why would you do that? She left me with no choice. I caught her. In an act of sin. With another woman. I caught her reading. Oh no. Studying. Witchcraft, sir. I caught her studying witchcraft. From there was a book. Deborah, I, assume. I don't know where it came from, and damned if I could get rid of it, but and she would not put brace. it down. Not even after I forbade it. Now why does Lammy Haskell suddenly spring to mind? And Deborah too. Is this how you love a daughter? By sending her into exile? 
by visiting gross injustice upon her innocent teacher. I saved my daughter's That's life. That's why he imprisoned Deborah. If I came to learn your daughter survived, if I knew where she was, no, I have nothing to say to her. For me and all who know me, Grace Pennington is long dead. Think what you will of me. I care not. I did what was necessary. And I'd do it again. And that is all there is to say. Alright. Touche, motherfucker. Find the cabin in the woods. Now. Where is... Yeah, let's do this one. We're gonna head over there. Because I need to figure out which one is his quest as well. Once I do his quest, he's gonna let, let up on me just a bit. Let's head down here. It's just an easy 300 meters. Simple stuff. Too bad, Red. We're fucking back in the snow. I'm sorry. I know how much you hate it. But just be light on your feet, alright? Don't let the snow drag you down. Climb. At least now I don't have to deal with wards. Fuck that other place. Fuck the wards. You're trying to hinder and sing me in my powers. You can't hold me back. Wait. No, they don't want me to climb. I was ready to climb up that rope. Whose quest is going to be this, dude? Who's all the way out here and begin with? Oh, look at that. Soul shine. It has been a while, but I did find another one. Just gotta keep your eyes peeled. You never know where they're gonna spring up at. This game just likes hiding stuff. Abigail. Was that Abigail Rumble? I think so. What now? Who's Abigail? I think I remember. I can't recall. Why East Day? Okay. He killed me. He killed me. We should probably go talk to her husband. Oh. I haven't seen it since we a very long time. We again. have no sin. We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Post the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter one. Good, Red, your memory's fucking crazy. You can tell that. The verse escapes me. Five, is it? Eight and nine. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. That's verse five. You've not come back at the best of times, Red McMurray. I'm in no mood to chat. Is your wife around? I haven't seen her. Abigail is dead. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry. Truly. She blames you. Thank you. Let's leave it there. And whatever you heard, it's not true. No. I trespass on your grief. I'm sorry. What happened? You speak well enough, but you stick your nose where you should not, like the rest. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. Yeah, we also don't know how long ago it was. An accident? How did she die? She fell. 
She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. A lever? Oh, what's over here? I love doing that. Uh, everything I hate about the game. Okay. Let's check the house. Governor's letter. My dear John. Fairfax Haskell. It seems longer. Abigail had abandoned the marital bed. And it vexed him. That's not the Puritan way. John's dirty dreams began before Abigail's death. Makes sense, if he was going without. John's Bible. One through five. <laughs> Did they put that Do just for us? one another. A letter speaking of unspeakable dreams. Scriptures about marital relations. I think we have a lead. Employment contract. Bly and Ramble. Yeah, I'll just take that. An old key. Convenient. With luck, it'll fit a door at Bly Manor. Spectral stains about the bed. Hence John's unspeakable dreams. I mean, I don't see anything else. Anything out here? Not really. Search the barn. I'm doing more than what I should, but fuck it. Letters, letters. It's just between John and Abigail going back awesome. and forth. Full of youth and hope. Abigail's clothes already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. Wait. What? It's kind of weird. Are they... How old is this? This is their marriage contract. Voices from the dead ripple here. Shreds of a memory linger here. Reunius fat aster himi. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is oh, not no conversation, more. Abigail. We do not converse. No. Not no more. It's not a good start. You berate me. You belittle me, Abigail. Aye. I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place, and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die, and you'd not bleed That's an eye. right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me Whoa. some goddamn peace! <laughs> oh. 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 Not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. The harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. Alright, let's talk to John. Where you at, John? What do you want? It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. 
Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. That's a not terrible very accident. Brutal. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, methinks. You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. Um. You're a man of faith. Aren't you? I too have recently lost someone. <laughs> Does prayer help? One could only have faith in God's plan. Prayer soothes only what can be soothed. And only for a little while. Still, it helps. Sometimes told it's easier to put your mind on something else. Perhaps if she'd heard it from someone else, she'd have listened. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I could help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Was Abigail's faith important to her? It was. She was firm in her faith. She knew scripture better than I. We'd stay up at night discussing it. What changed? She had a challenging mind. Too challenging. God's word was not enough for her. Abigail lacked restraint. It led her away from God. Away Dude, from this me. Pissing me off. Straight to the devil. When she stopped coming to worship, folk talked. She no longer cared. For years, she badgered me. Make an effort. Be part of your community. In the end, she walked away from us. She walked away from you. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. She went this way. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her, never questions his own behavior. He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. The Bible. There's a campfire here, don't mind if I do. Alright, this is where I'm at to edit. Thank you all for joining me for the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night. Take care, and bye bye.